Hey there, my most amazing artist, Miss Pelavon here to show you how to paint your verbal person. So you're going to be picking some complimentary color pair and you get to choose which pair you want. And it's a good idea to maybe try out a tertiary color pair because we've talked about the primary and secondary colors already. So what I have done is I've created blue-green I put a little bit of blue and then added some green around it in the paint tray, mixed it up to make blue green. And I've started to paint in my lettering. And I'm just gonna paint a little bit to show you how to do this. And then after you finish with your first complementary color, you'll add in the opposite color around in the um, space around your lettering. So here we go. Remember when you're painting to try and keep your brush really pointy. And you and your partner can work on this together. You don't have to do it separately. You don't have to do just one color at a time. Um, you can both work on one color at the same time, but don't get that second complementary color until you have finished the first. So that means that you have to paint in all of the sections that are your first color and then you can clean your brush and get the other color for around it. That way your colors don't mix because when you mix complementary colors, it makes like a brown color and you want to be able to see your letters against the other color and we need them to dry just a little bit before you start that opposite. So even in these tiny um, letters here, I'm gonna use my paint, but I wanna keep my brush really, really pointy I want to focus on what I'm doing. Um, even for me right now, it's hard to talk while I'm doing this, so you'll notice that I get quiet sometimes. Notice how I'm holding my paintbrush. Notice how I'm moving my hand around. And I'm trying to be really, really careful. I often like to outline first and then fill in so I know how far I need to push my brush tip. So just like that, I outlined a little bit and then I can paint inside. <clears throat> it's always a good idea to just get a little bit of paint on your brush because you can always go back and get more. Um, I don't like to get a lot of paint on my brush because then I'm gonna get big blobs and my artwork's not gonna be very neat. So I want to make sure that I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Now, I'm not gonna paint this whole thing because it would take me forever. The bottom half of this person took me about 20 minutes just sitting quietly. So um, we'll probably be working on this for quite a few art classes until it's all done because we're gonna paint the letters, then we're gonna do the space around the letters, and then finally we're gonna cut it out so we can hang it um, in the gym because that's where we do a lot of action words, verbs, so Miss Genoa said that we could hang them in the gym to help make her space more fun. All right, once I finish this word, I'll let you guys get started. But I wanted to show you how long it takes and what focus you need. Because sometimes you just need to stop and paint. This morning I'm feeling a little stressed out, I'm a little tired. And this is helping me refocus too. So I've just finished that word dance and I'll move on to the other parts and remember to work with your partner Maybe one partner can start at the head and the other one can start at the feet and then you can meet together in the middle um, That way you have some space separating you guys or you can work across the table from each other or next to each other so that you can um, Share your paint and work on the same thing at the same time <clears throat> 